Okay, this video is going to be on mounting your TV to the wall, and uh, there's no such thing as an easy way to do it, but I think I found an easier way to do it. Now, the project I've got today is a, a smaller TV. It's not huge. It's a 40-inch, and, you know, the uh, bracket uh, I got from Pearl Smith. It was on Amazon. It was only $10, I think, even with Prime, so that's a really good deal. And uh, anyways, the first thing you want to do when you're mounting any TV is you want to follow the instructions and, uh, you know, make sure you test your screws so they don't bottom out into a circuit board. You know, just do them hand tight. If they bottom out and they, uh, they go all the way in and stop, then you're good to go. And then you can mount both of your brackets. Uh, the reason it's important to get this bracket mounted first is... You know, you're going to want this TV to be a certain height in your room. So it's important to find out where this finished uh, bracket on the wall is going to end up. So anyways, you get your, you get your mounts on. And in this case, it's got little pull straps. And, you know, you pull on these and it drops in. So anyways... Uh, once you've got that bracket in, this is the one you're going to mount to the wall. And it's going to be like that even in a larger TV. So, let's measure from the top of the TV to this center hole here. You know, hopefully this is going to hit a stud, but we'll talk about that later. So in this case, I'm talking 10 and 3 quarters inches to the top of the TV. Okay, so... That's going to be important. Let me take this off. So, 10 and 3 quarters inches from that hole right there to the top of the TV. Now, in my project, it's going to go into a guest bedroom. And I want the top of that TV to be even with these closets I have in here. So, all I did was grab a straight edge. And in this case, it was a piece of angle iron, but anything you got straight. Heck, you could probably use a, a piece of pipe, broomstick, uh, whatever. But I, I put it up on top of the closet, and then I measured down 10 and 3 quarters inches. Okay, so that gives me my height. But now, what I need to figure out now is, is well, where are my studs? So, uh... You know, the method that I'm going to show you really doesn't even require studs. That's the beauty of this method. But, you know, I have a fancy-dancy stud finder, and this is a newer home, and it's a metal stud, which complicates things even more. Metal studs are pretty worthless compared to wood. So, uh, but I did want to hit, uh, I wanted to hit a stud on that center bolt if I could, just for extra strength. What I'm going to use to mount these to the wall are these bad boys right here. Now, this these are made by uh, Toggler. I think I got these, uh, you know, at Lowe's or Home Depot. But And this is the quarter-inch size. And these are made to work on just sheetrock alone. You know, a lot of times, where you want that TV is not going to be where a stud is. You know, and these things, these are the bigger ones. They're a quarter inch, and each one will hold 265 pounds just in half-inch drywall. And uh, my little TV probably weighs 15 pounds, 20 pounds tops. So uh, with three of these, I am going to be good to go. And you can do the same thing with a large TV. You know, and now I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to promise you you're not going to mess it up because maybe you're not handy and you should hire this out. But if you are handy, these babies are the way to go. And what I did was, in my case, I did have uh, a stud here. And um, I'm going to end up putting a socket behind the TV. So uh, that will uh, require me to uh, pop a hole there you know, with a reciprocating saw or whatever, and run my wire down and tie it into this socket. And if you don't know electrical, you shouldn't attempt that. But this is pretty easy. I lucked out. This was the end of a circuit. So, but anyways, uh, 
Another thing to remember too, when you're putting these in, you're going to need a half inch drill bit. You know, the, these things are really cool. The way they work is you drill a half inch hole. Once you determine where your bracket is going to go, and you set your bracket up and you level it with a level perfectly, okay? Uh, then you uh, put your bracket up there and mark your holes uh, where you want. Now, in this case, I'm only putting three of these. That's plenty. Probably could have gone with two, but I went with three, a little overkill. And uh, what you want to make sure you do is I kind of start with a, I'll start with a small bit. You know, I'll start with like a, maybe a quarter inch bit and drill my initial hole. And then I'll work up to like a, maybe a three eighths bit. And then the final hole has to be a half inch bit. So you have to make sure that you have a half inch drill because the bit just won't fit in the drill if it isn't a half inch drill. So borrow that from one of your friends if you don't have it. The other thing you want to be careful of too is you see how I got a little piece of tape on here? You know, well, basically all that was for is so if I go through the half inch sheetrock, uh, you know, this piece of tape should be maybe three quarters of an inch from uh, the end of the bit. And what that's going to do for you is, is once you get through that sheetrock and you hit that tape mark, which is all battered up now, but like I said, just measure like uh, three quarters of an inch from the tip and run some blue tape around there. The reason you want to do that is, is God forbid you start ramming this thing through the wall and you got a live power line and uh, now you got a whole different problem and your wife will love you for it. So... You know, be careful. Only go through the sheetrock as much as you have to. And the same thing with the smaller bits, you know. Just make sure that you mark them with tape. And um, so once you get your half-inch holes in, what happens is, is you take this device here and you slide it through the hole, okay? And once you get it all the way through the hole, then you kind of give it a tug, and you'll see it through the hole. And it's going to flop, and now this back side is hitting the uh, is hitting the back of the sheetrock. And once you you've got it flopped like that, then you take this little plastic tab here and you slide it down all the way. And you know you're pulling on this and here while you're sliding this down, you know you want this to be as tight to the wall as you can. And you slide this down, and once you've got it slid all the way down, and it shows the instructions on the box. Then you just bend these long tabs up and down, and they break off nice and nice and neat, okay? And then you're ready for the bolts that go in. You know, you're going to run these through your bracket, and it's going to hit the, uh, it's going to hit this threaded portion in the back, and it is going to make for one solid mount, you know? And once you make contact, you know, don't kill yourself. Don't use an electric screw gun. You know, use a hand screwdriver to tighten this. And uh, once you, you know, it hits, then maybe turn another three quarters of an inch uh, or a turn and a half. You know, um, three quarters of a turn, I meant, I'm sorry. A uh, turn and a half. And these things are tough, you know. And like I said, it, it shows you on the box... You know how to do this you know you drill your hole you slip it through you pull it so it's against the wall you slide the little clip against the wall you bend these back and forth up and down now I, what i like to do is i want to make sure that that metal piece is vertical i don't want that horizontal i want it vertical and then uh then you just put your bracket up and put your screw in now they show a uh they show a screwdriver here a powered screwdriver i would not do that you know, because they have too much power, and you just, trust me, you know, use a hand, uh, a, a hand screwdriver, and you'll be better off. So, in my case, now all I have to do is mark this. Now, in my case, my, uh, my stud was actually, oh, an inch and a half from uh, the center mark. You know, I had to make a center mark. As well as a height mark, I had to make a center mark. So uh, my stud was about an inch and a half. But see, that's not a problem because these mounts, you know, they're going to allow you to slide the TV uh, side to side. You know, so this is, uh, 
I think these uh, this bar here is about 14 inches wide and these brackets are about 9 inches wide so that's an 8 inch difference so you take 8 divided by 2 now you've got 4 inches either way you can slide this TV so uh, keep that in mind you know when you are hitting studs you know you're gonna have to mount this bracket a little farther to the left or farther to the right but just make sure that you've got enough room to slide that TV where you want it before you decide on it. And then if you can't, if the bracket just isn't long enough, well then forget the stud because, you know, those mollies that I told you about are going to be the answer. So, anyways, that is the uh, easier way to mount this TV. And the real, the real secret are these devices, togglers, quarter inch. They hold a lot of weight. This is not an easy way, but an easier way. And when you're done, you'll have that TV just where you want it. That's it for this video.